the reason I'm not in Memphis, inside the Bill Ford Tough studio, sitting across from Bennett Doyle and his beard, is because I'm in Kansas City. And the reason I'm in Kansas City is because Big 12 Media Day was here yesterday, less than two weeks until the start of the regular season. Big time extravaganza here. They do it inside T-Mobile Center. It's just a, it's a big production. Like, they really prioritize this and make it a big deal. And I wrote a column off of it, sort of just uh, explaining how we really might be about to watch uh, the greatest conference in the history of college basketball conferences. The Big 12 has rated out in the computers as the best league in the country three straight years and nine of the past 11 years. They've had uh, at least seven teams in the NCAA tournament 10 straight years. They've had a number one seed in each of the past four NCAA tournaments. Two of the past four national champions come from the Big 12. This has consistently been for more than a decade um, the, the best conference in college basketball. And this upcoming season really could be the best because, you know, they've made some additions, most notably Arizona, uh, the reigning Pac-12 champs, preseason top 10 team. They have five teams in the top 10 of the preseason AP poll. Literally 50% of the top 10 is the Big 12. The Big 12 in men's basketball is very much like the SEC in football in the, t in the sense that it dominates the top of the rankings. You got number one, Kansas, number four, Houston, number five, Iowa State. So three of the top five. And then number eight, Baylor, number 10, Arizona, three of the top five, five of the top 10. And here's the other thing that's wild. And this is what most coaches will tell you makes the league just very difficult to navigate. It's not that you've got to play Kansas. It's not that you got to play Houston. It's that you don't get to play any bad teams. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at it, dude. Like, again, like you, you got to go to Oklahoma State. You got to go to West Virginia. Like, those are like the two teams that finished last last season. And I'm like, I'd love to play either of those teams. Okay. So, right. Every single Big 12 team is in the top 90 at Ken Palm. So, every road game is going to be against a top 90 team. Just to put this into perspective, in the American Athletic Conference, there are only three teams inside the top 90, Memphis, North Texas, and UAB. Everybody else is outside of the top 90. But in the Big 12, everybody is inside the top 90. Ted Boyle at Colorado told a funny story yesterday. Somebody asked him, like, what's the biggest difference between playing in the Pac-12 and playing in the Big 12? Because Colorado is one of these weird situations where they were in the Big 12, left to go to the Pac-12, and now coming back to the Big 12. Yep. Um, conference realignment's always goofy. So Ted said, here's the biggest difference. He said, we're at Colorado in our last year in the Pac-12 before, in the Big 12 before we moved to the Pac-12. We're playing at Iowa State on senior night. It's their senior night. So it's our last road game of the year. We're on the bubble. We're at Iowa State. Iowa State's 2-12 and 12 in the conference at this point, 2-12. and 12. So you're in the last week of the regular season. You're on the road against a team that's two and twelve in conference, one and eleven, or one and ten, and it's past eleven games. If ever there's supposed to be an easy road game in your league, this is this should be it. Yeah. If ever there should be a half empty building in your league, this should be it. He said, "We go there, the building's sold out. Like they're two and twelve, they they're one and ten in their last eleven. Doesn't matter. The building's still sold out. They beat us. He said they didn't beat us. That building beat us. That they, they, their team wasn't as talented as ours. Wasn't as good as ours." We just got beat by the building. In the Big 12, you get beat by the building mm -hmm. a lot. And in the Pac-12, if you were playing somebody in the last week of the regular season, that is 2-12 and 12 in the conference, that building's going to be empty. But in the Big 12, that building is probably still going to be full and crazy. There's no easy games anywhere. So that was sort of among the themes um, coming out of Big 12 Media Day, just the, the strength of the league. Uh, however you evaluate conferences, the strength at the top, the lack of garbage at the bottom, the depth throughout, the Big 12 is going to grade out super well. And um, this really could be what's on tap, the best season in the history of, of the Big 12. For, for whatever it's worth, Bill, Bill Self has won 16 Big 12 regular season titles. Nobody knows that league better than him. Nobody has ever dominated that league quite like him. He has the number one team in the AP poll. He's won 16 regular season Big 12 titles. And he told me yesterday, if we win it this year, it will have been the hardest Big 12 title we've ever won. Yeah. And he's got the pre he's got the preseason number one team, and he knows that uh, winning it this year will be more challenging than it has been in, in any other year. The Gary Parish Show live weekdays at 10 a.m.